past, we have an opportunity to give to the work of God in the world, but and also the work of God in this place. And I want to invite forward Brittany Walker Pettigrew to share with us a testimony of her experience in this community, an experience that I think touches some individuals in ways that we don't always get to hear. So I want to invite Brittany forward to share a story. have a posse. <laughs> no, it's my turn. It's mommy's turn. Okay. Whew. I always cry. So, don't be alarmed. <laughs> um, so, uh, my name is Brittany and I was raised in Los Angeles, California. And my home church was uh, Morningside United Church of Christ. And I was a dutiful, loyal member, uh, went to church every Sunday as per prescription. And um, all the way through high school, I was very active on the national level, even as a youth member. And uh, somewhere around 16, the intersection of puberty and apathy and young adult, I know better than all you people in this, happened. And I kind of stopped going for like 20 years. <laughs> and, you know, of course there was some drama thrown in there. And suffice it to say, there was actually a spiritual wound, which I learned um, is very difficult to heal. Spiritual wounds seem to pus and fester for years. And so I couldn't go to church without crying. So I didn't go to church voluntarily for about 20 years. Um, then Facebook came. And I know this is, this is totally relevant, just stick with me. <laughs> <laughs> but Facebook came and um, all of my friends started coming forth, friends that like understood me on a very like deep level, um, started coming forth, and I realized, oh Lord, <laughs> I realized that um, that my oldest friends and my closest friends and my deepest friends were my church friends, my church camp friends. I went to Pilgrim Pines Camp, and um, that's who all my oldest friends were—not from school, not from work—and I realized my daughter was about one at the time, Hannah, here. Um, and she, I realized that if she was gonna have that, then she needed a church family. And I also realized that even through the 20 years that I was out, that I, um, I still had faith. Um, and there is something really deep about being in super, super dark times and knowing that, that there is something bigger and that when I can't provide, that some, something will happen that will give me the push I need, that I will get what I need when I need it. And you can't learn faith just, you know, walking around being apathetic. So um, I had to... I had to acknowledge that if I'm to teach, I learned faith from church. I learned social justice from church. I learned that we are all sisters and brothers in humanity from church, from United Church of Christ specifically. Um, so I, I'm a child protective services professional and have been for 18 years. I don't think I would be doing this what I love um, if I didn't learn that from church, um, from this church, from the United Church of Christ. And so I realized that there is so much that it, throughout the hurt, even though it's still not healed, there was so much that I got from being at my church and being in the community that I was raised in that I had to, I had to do what I could to give that for my daughter. So that meant starting, starting a search 
for a church that would meet me where I was because I wasn't ready to be back without cynicism. Can't lean on that. <laughs> back without cynicism every Sunday. I don't think I was even ready, as is evidenced by my attendance, to be here every <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> um, but when I came to FCCB to check it out, Pat doesn't remember this, but she preached a sermon that spoke right to my heart, and it was like a salve on my wound. And it was, it was about being not one of those kind of Christians, um, the kind that are like super judgy and like mean to everybody, doesn't do it right, and <laughs> you know, she doesn't remember the sermon, but it, I walked away from that going, okay, this is the church. This is it. This is the one. And maybe that was just the one phrase in like a whole sermon about something else. But whatever it was, it was what I needed at the time, which was confirmation of what my whole like spiritual life has been and what faith has been to me. So I checked out a few other churches, but nobody had that sermon. So... <laughs> So welcome back to FCCB. So it took me a while, but I found a church home, and I'm so proud and happy to share um, this community with all of you, and especially the new people. You're like in the right place, okay? <laughs> and <laughs> um, and with my, these are two of my three children, and being able to share that, they were just baptized like two weeks ago or something. Um, with, with them has been just amazing, the way this community has met me where I am, still healing. So I appreciate all of that. <laughs>